It's all very exciting this, isn't it, Elsie? We're finally here, eve of the Rugby League World Cup 2021, even though it's 2022. Yeah. How long has that wait felt? Uh, um, I think it was, it was like a blessing in disguise for us, Papua New Guinea, because I think at the time we weren't as ready um, as ready as I think the other teams as well. I, I think we're all the same as others, but yeah, I think the one year extra has given us more time to prepare and um, yeah, get ourselves ready for the World Cup. So I think it's pretty much, uh, we're ready for this one. There's been a real kind of explosion for women's rugby league across the world since the last World Cup. Are you expecting this to be you know, a step up from what we've seen before? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think um, with the way the women's game has progressed since um, the last World Cup, like the game has become bigger, um, better, and like a lot of lots of um, you know uh, inclusion as well. Like um, a lot of people are taking part in the games as well, and like it's becoming faster as well. And I hope to see like it goes bigger and better. And yeah. How much are you and your teammates looking forward to just absorbing this experience? Obviously, playing in a a country that not many of you would have played in before, if in new stadiums, different audiences, and how much are you looking forward to just embracing this World Cup? Yeah, for us, like we've been, we've talked about it, and like for us, it's about enjoying the experience of coming over here because most of our girls are PNG based and like they've never travelled overseas, and like for them to come here and you know um, look at the beautiful scenes of England and like the old um, uh, things that they see, like it's for them, it's. Um, yeah, we're just here, just enjoying ourselves and enjoying each other's company and hopefully um, compete in the World Cup um, and improve our standing from last World Cup. You've drawn England in your group and of course England saw Papua New Guinea a few years ago, a couple of fantastic test matches. How much are you looking forward to, to that game in particular in front of what will be a healthy crowd and renewing that rivalry which was such a fantastic series? Oh yeah, we've um, they came over to PNG in 2019. We've had two series, two test series, and like they've won uh, the first one convincingly, but the second one um, it was a good game, and like we uh, put them to the test as well, and we've got the win. But uh, in saying that, like that was like four years ago, and like we're not going to bank on on that um, coming into this World Cup. We believe like in England's going to be. Uh, on another level as well because it's been four years so yeah we've, we're just excited to be here and um, just to compete. What do you think that feeling will be like when you walk out for that opening game and the crowd and the anthems how proud of a moment will that be? Uh, it's you know it's always a proud moment when you're wearing a, coming out oh, with the jersey, um, it's always a pride moment for us and our families and our um, people back at home as well. So, like, if I feel that way, I feel like all the girls would feel the same way as I feel. So, yeah, it's it's phenomenal. It's something where you can't really, you know, explain with words. Um, it's yeah. Well, best of luck. Enjoy the next few weeks. Thank you.